If you've been paying attention to the world of Android emulation lately, you know that Windows emulators have made some massive leaps in the past few months. There are quite a few good options out there, but the two big names you keep hearing are definitely Winlater and GameHub. Now personally, I think GameHub has been getting all the attention lately. And for good reason. They've been crushing it with constant updates, and the user interface is just incredibly simple and practical. But the real game changer is that you can now sync your Steam games with it so easily. I mean, Winlater can do that too, but let's be honest, a lot of users just don't want to deal with the hassle of setting it all up and tweaking those complicated initial settings. That's why in this video, we're going to dive deep into GameUp. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process, from getting it set up for the first time, to finding the absolute best performance settings for your specific phone, and then of course, how to sync it up with your Steam library. It's a lot simpler than you think. So go ahead and get comfortable, because we're ready to jump right into the tutorial. Okay, so let's start with the download. To get GameHub, you'll need to head over to their official website. As of now, when I'm uploading this video, it's not actually on the Google Play Store. So you definitely have to use the website. You can either search it on Google, or even better, just use the link of put down in the description below. GameHub is actually built by the same company that makes those awesome GameStar controllers. Now once you are on the site, go ahead and look for the Android download button to grab the application file. Once that download finishes, simply open the file and install the app. But before we jump into the app, let me quickly explain something about your non-Steam games. You don't just have to play Steam games here, you can also play DRM free games like ones you might have downloaded from the GOG store. The beautiful thing is that you can simply transfer those game files directly from your computer to your phone. And it's super straightforward. So as you can see on the left window here, I have my GOG game folder open and my games are ready to be copied. On the right, I'm looking at my phone's internal storage and I've gone ahead and created a simple folder called Windows Games to keep everything organized. Just remember this crucial point. For GameHub to run any game, you need the main.exe file for that game, which naturally is how pretty much all Windows games run anyway. Now all I have to do is copy all my game folders and paste them into that new Windows games folder I made on my phone. Simple as that, our non-Steam games are now ready to be imported. Alright, let's head back over to the phone and open up GameHub. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in. For better security, I strongly recommend using your email address. Once you verify your email, you'll just choose an emoji and a username for your profile. After that, the app will ask for a few permissions, so go ahead and hit accept for those. Once you've completed that basic setup, you'll land right on the main game hub home screen. We're going to navigate over to the My tab first. Here, you'll see your different options for playing games. I should mention that GameHub doesn't just do PC emulation. You can also use it to stream games via services like Moonlight, PlayStation Remote Play, and Xbox Cloud Gaming. But for today, we're focusing on the local emulation setup. Our first big step is connecting our Steam account. So go ahead and tap on the Steam logo and then choose Sign into Steam. You'll be prompted to enter your Steam account details or for a much safer and easier option, you can just scan the QR code. Using the QR code is more secure because the token it gives you is temporary, so there's no risk of misuse later on. Once you're logged into your Steam account, your profile will pop up showing all your library games and some profile info. You can scroll down and check out your game list. You'll notice that some games have a green checkmark icon next to them, which supposedly means they're fully compatible with your phone. Honestly though, GameHub's compatibility reporting isn't always the most reliable, so I wouldn't put too much stock in that list for now. Let's say I want to download Hollow Knight Silksong from my Steam library. I'll tap on it 
and then hit get game. This screen will show you the game's file size and how much free space you have on your phone. To start the process, just hit install. A super important tip here, you definitely want to keep your screen on and try not to switch away from the app while the game is downloading. This just helps ensure the download completes without any issues. Now we'll wait for the game to finish downloading. After the download is complete, we need to activate the Steam Sync feature. Tap the three dots next to the Play Now button and then select PC Game Settings. Go into the Steam tab, make sure that Auto Sync Cloud Saves is toggled on. More importantly, click on Steam Client Version and choose the latest option that starts with Steam and a string of numbers. You should generally avoid the lightweight mode for the syncing to work properly. Now let's talk about two crucial settings that really set Windows emulators apart from everything else. This is something that makes playing games on GameHub a uniquely better experience than using emulators for other systems like the Switch. The first setting is changing the game resolution to whatever you want. Most Windows games, especially modern ones, fully support ultra-wide resolutions. Why is this a huge advantage that other emulators like those for the Switch just don't have? Well, if you're trying to play a game like Silk Song or really any other title on an emulator like Eden, you often can't get it to fill your entire phone screen without stretching it. Why? Because those emulators are usually limited to the game's native aspect ratio, which is typically 16 by 9, unless you find a specific, often buggy patch. But here in GameHub, just like WinLater, you can easily change the resolution to your phone's native resolution, or a proportional aspect ratio that perfectly fills your screen. This feature, this ability to get a true, non-stretched, full screen gaming experience is one of the biggest reasons people prefer Windows emulation over, say, Switch emulation, even aside from the Steam syncing capability. To change the resolution, just go into the General tab and change the game resolution to your desired numbers. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see your phone's native resolution. There's one other helpful setting for performance located in the Compatibility tab. By default, the transition params is set to Game Preset. If you feel like you need a significant boost in performance, you can change this to either performance or even extreme. Personally though, I think the game presets usually work perfectly fine for most modern phones. There are a few other settings, but to keep this video moving, we'll stick to these two for now. Once we are all set there, we can head back and hit play now. Go ahead and grant any necessary permissions that pop up. GameHub will now start downloading some necessary files like firmware and other files needed to run the game properly. This download only happens the very first time you launch a new game. One of the huge advantages GameHub has over other Windows emulators is that it automatically downloads the best setting profile for the game and your specific phone. You don't have to manually tweak anything for optimal performance. Once all those required files are downloaded and installed, you'll enter the initial loading screen to start the game which only takes a few seconds. Now once we are in the game, let's talk about the in-game settings. If you swipe back on the game screen, the in-game settings panel will appear. In the first tab, controls, you can toggle the touch controls on or off. I recommend keeping screen trackpad on just in case. The second tab lets you adjust the performance setting for the game. For example, you can set a frame limit here. For a little extra visual quality, you can enable HDR, or if you like that classic look, you can turn on the CRT effect. If you're playing the game at a lower resolution, you can really benefit from enabling super resolution. This option uses minimal hardware resources to give you a noticeable improvement in image quality over your current resolution. You only need to skip this option if your current in-game resolution is exactly 
exactly the same as your phone's display resolution. The third tab is for general settings, like enabling full screen or adjusting the brightness. At the bottom of this tab, you can select exit to quit your game. The last tab is simply to toggle the keyboard on or off, which is handy if a game asks you to type in something like your character's name. You can also change the game settings from the game itself. Usually most Windows settings have video game options. Finally, let's look at how to add our non-Steam games, like those GOG games we prepared earlier. Go back to the My tab, select the option to import PC games. Now navigate to your games folder and select the main executable file. GameHub is smart, it'll automatically fill in the game's name and download the cover art for you. Hit confirm and the game is added to your list. Just tap on it to launch it. It's that easy. For some users, certain games might require you to run the game's official launcher first. Don't worry, there's a solution for that too. Let's use the Skyrim launcher as an example. Hover over the game, tap the three dots and choose PC game settings. Now select the option enter container desktop. This will launch the actual Windows desktop environment for us so we can run the game launcher from inside. First, you want to go into my computer. As you can see, we have different drives here. By default, drive D is your phone's download folder and drive E represents your entire internal storage. Since I put my games in internal storage, I'll select drive E. Then I'll navigate to my Windows games folder, open the Skyrim folder and run the game launcher from here. You can make any necessary settings changes here and hit OK. Now you can go back and run your game normally. Before we wrap up, I just want to share a few final but really crucial notes about using GameHub. First, let's talk about hardware safety. Since we are pushing your phone to emulate a full Windows PC environment, you'll notice your device is going to get warm. That's totally normal, but you need to be smart about it. If your phone ever starts to feel uncomfortably hot, or if you get a high temperature warning, you should definitely stop playing immediately and let your phone cool down. Pushing it too hard, especially without proper airflow, can absolutely hurt your phone's battery and lifespan. So please be responsible and pay attention to those temperatures. Second, for the best possible experience, I highly recommend using a physical controller. GameHop does a decent job with the on-screen touch controls, but let's be real, PC games were made made for actual buttons, so using a controller is going to give you a much more enjoyable experience. And that's it, thanks so much for watching the full GameHub tutorial. If you found this guide helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more emulation content. Let me know in the comments what PC game you're going to try first.